up, wonderful peeps? I'm here, I'm back at Walt Disney World. I just left my room. I'm staying at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, which is massive, by the way. I have never been to this resort before. This is my first time. Uh, it's beautiful, but I definitely took quite a few wrong turns trying to find my room. <laughs> I'm on my way now, heading to the Skyliner, because this is one of the Skyliner resorts. Um, I'm gonna take the Skyliner over to Hollywood Studios to start a fun day there. Generally, I would say Hollywood Studios is not my favorite park as of late, because it seems just so stressful, like, oh, you gotta be there early at this time, get the boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance, all, all the lines for other rides are super long. Um, but today I'm just doing it differently. Uh, I flew in today. Um, it's about, what time is it now? It's 12.30. Um, so I'm just calmly heading over to the park. Uh, I have a dining reservation at Hollywood and Vine for almost two. Um, and I'm excited to see the characters in their Halloween costumes. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna start off with a nice meal there. Uh, and then maybe we'll attempt to get that 2 p.m. Rise of the Resistance Pass just because, just to see what it's like trying for a boarding pass at two. Um, I've, out of my two attempts to get on Rise of the Resistance, I have succeeded both times. Uh, We'll see if this one poses to be a greater challenge. If we don't get on it, whatever, I've been on it. We'll do some other fun stuff. All right, see you in a bit. arrived I should have timed it it was really fast though I feel like I made it here in like 10 minutes at most um, I also just have to say I feel like every time I come to this park it is a rainy day and I am just astounded that is it is bright blue skies right now and I pray it stays this way yes let's go hello there thank you different than coming in at park opening when everyone is rushing to get in to either claim a spot to wait to get their boarding pass or to rope drop any of the major attractions here. typical for this time of the day in this park. Uh, we'll try to get on it probably towards the evening. The wait times start to drop the later in the day it gets. Wait times don't seem too terrible. I looked on the app. Um, Tower of Terror is at a 35 minute wait. I think Rockin' was at 30 minutes. Uh, I just don't feel like cramming 
to rush into a ride before I go eat. So I'm just calmly walking around the park, taking in all the sights, enjoying the atmosphere. All right, so we're, oh, hold on. Yes, hoping to confront the first order in Star Wars, Rise of the Resistance, may join our virtual queue through the My Disney Experience app or with the assistance of a cast member. We plan to reopen the virtual queue at 2 p.m. to fill additional boarding groups. We also welcome you to visit Millennium Falcon, Smuggler's Run at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, Slinky Dog Dash at Toy Story Land, and our newest attraction, Mini and Minnie's Runaway Railway at the Chinese Theater. Whatever you choose, we hope you enjoy your day here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Why, thank you. Anyway, as I was about to say, we are checked in for lunch at Hollywood and Vine. Um, if you aren't aware now, uh, you no longer have to go up to the front uh, to the host to check in. They recommend that you check in on your phone in the My Disney Experience app. Uh, on your reservation, you'll see start check-in at uh, within 20 minutes of your reservation and within uh, close proximity to the restaurant. Um, so you just hit start check-in. They ask a few questions and you can sign up for text messaging and when your table is ready for you, they will send you a text message and that's it. You head up there, no waiting, no crowding. So now we're just gonna chill for a bit, see how long it takes them to call us. Doesn't seem like it's too busy in this area. Pretty calm. I mean, yes, Mickey and Minnie's is 90 minutes. Slinky Dog is probably pretty high up there too, but that's expected. Other than that, it seems like a nice calm day here. All right, so just sat down at Hollywood and Vine. Uh, I got a text probably 10 minutes before my reservation, so that was good. And I'm starving, I haven't eaten since before my flight. Um, just so you know, they give you these uh, with a QR code on it. And you scan it with your phone, Open, just open your camera app, point it at the QR code, and then it'll open a link to the menu. So checking out the menu. Y'all, my excitement for hunger nearly made me forget to try at 2 o'clock for a boarding pass for Rise. I looked at my phone, it was 159, and I was like, oh my god, let's open this app. Um, so I, I clicked in, you know, circling, circling. I managed to get into a backup boarding group. We are boarding group 125. We'll see if it makes it to that point. I think they've been making it pretty high up in the numbers. I, I follow an account on Twitter that shares all the data, so uh, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. Right now they're boarding up to group 62, and park is open till 7, so it might happen. We'll see. Got out of Hollywood and Vine. That was a very delicious meal. And I've heard people saying the food sucks there. I'd never been there before this. Maybe they've changed the menu. I think it used to be a buffet uh, before the pandemic, but um, I thought it was delicious now. Really good food, fun character moments. Um, I would recommend coming here. I think coming up in I don't know, maybe they'll start it in November, but they do uh, Christmas costumes for the characters uh, for the next season, so that should be cute too. Um, just check the wait times. Uh, I think I'm gonna head on over to do Smuggler's Run in Galaxy's Edge. It's at a 40 minute wait right now, which really isn't so bad. And if things have been, things are going how it's been, the wait times listed are usually longer than what the actual wait is, so we'll see how it is. So let's take a walk to Galaxy's Edge.
These are some new signs they added. Yes, not properly wearing an approved mask will be asked to leave. That's right. Just wear it right. Face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth and be worn at all Here times. We are. Except when and actively the line eating or run. drinking while stationary. <laughs> Guests that do not comply will be asked to leave. Wash your hands often and third. And we're getting in cover line. Your mouth and nose Let's see how long it takes us to get off. And maintain physical distance. There is the Falcon. I have to say, this land is so cool. And I have a confession. I've really only seen like one and a half Star Wars movies in my life and I didn't really like them. I did watch The Mandalorian and I loved that series. I was glad that was kind of like a standalone that even though you didn't see the rest of the films like you could follow that show. Um, but anyway, Galaxy's Edge just makes me really love and appreciate the Star Wars universe. When I have time, I keep saying I am going to watch all the movies. That's something I feel like I'd enjoy more than Marvel. That's another confession. Not really a Marvel fan, really at all. Don't like that comic book stuff. Um, but yeah, Galaxy's Edge is awesome. Super immersive. And it really inspires me to want to watch the movies. Got a bit of gossip. You're still here, go, go. It's 3.59, we're about to get on, so I guess that 40 minute wait time was pretty accurate. For your Thank you. Remain seated and yes, we're on the Falcon. Left pilot made the jump to light speed. All right, finished Smuggler's Run. It was awesome. I think I'm getting better and better at that game. <laughs> Gotta keep practicing. Um, I'm heading over to Toy Story Land now uh, to do potentially my favorite ride in this park, which is Toy Story Mania. <laughs> I love it so much. Last I checked, it was a 20 minute wait. Not bad at all. So let's head on over. because I thought it was just like the teacups and the teacups are nauseating to me. Uh, but I went on it my last time here and it's actually very fun. Uh, it is not as spinny, nauseating as teacups. Uh, instead, I guess I'd compare it more to like a, a tilt-a-whirl, if you remember that old-fashioned ride. Not at a Disney park, like, it's like an old-time amusement park ride or a block party ride. Alright, we're boarded! Yeah. Attention, please.
not usually too crazy of a wait. It's a keeper, I like it. Let's head on over to Toy Story Mania. This is getting a little crowded over here. But so far, this slinky line really doesn't look bad. Let me check the wait time. Alright, so Slinky is showing a 50 minute wait. But I feel like that's that can't be. Because I've waited less time than 50 minutes. And was way past this. So it is 4.56. I've been in line for almost 20 minutes and I am almost up to boarding. So yeah, that 50 minute wait time was inaccurate. Make sure uh, you look at what the lines look like. Because um, when the line isn't extending all the way out of Toy Story Land, over towards Voyage of the Little Mermaid, it should not be a long wait at all. So it's smart of us to get on the line when we did. Let's have fun. Slinky Dog, and it is 5.03 now. That entire process took, what, 20, 26 minutes uh, from the moment getting in the line and then riding it and getting off. When the wait time posted was 50. So we lucked out with that one. Now, finally, let's try to head to Toy Story Mania. is in line for maybe eight minutes. Uh, it's almost time to board. Took off my shades. This is game time. We gotta get serious here. Just came off of Toy Story Mania and I'm exhausted. I should have stretched before that. My arms are dead. What did I score? 182,000 something. We've done better. I think we'll be back before the park closes for another round. But, good news, I just checked the wait times and Tower of Terror has a 15 minute wait. So we are gonna power our way across the park and hope that it stays that low. Here we go. Isn't she a beauty? You know that Chinese theater is really technically the centerpiece of the park? But I think the Hollywood Tower Hotel is really the centerpiece in my heart. As you can see, they've added these red circles. And they assign you to a red circle along with the number. But no one is standing on top of every number anymore. beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of the imagination, in the Tower of Terror.
honestly, no matter how many times you do that ride, those drops are always shocking. <laughs> This time it's a little uh, bumpy too. Interesting. I like how every time you're on it, it's kind of a different. Uh, I mean, the dancer in me is gonna say choreography, but it's a different choreography of the drops. <laughs> All right, heading out. I think I'm gonna go get the pumpkin bread tiramisu because I had that the last time I was here, and it was quite tasty. And I could go for a little snack right now. All right, so just sat down, ordered my pumpkin bread tiramisu. Yeah. It's from Rosie's, uh, that's a long sunset. Um, I had this the last time and I thought it was so delicious. Great pumpkin flavor while not being overly sweet, not being overly fake, uh, fake tasting, yeah. Mmm, so good. Very moist. I know some people don't like that word. Sorry to use it, but that's how you describe this. It is refreshingly cold. And uh, just to update you on the rise front, it is now 6.04 p.m. and they are boarding up to 119. Again, we are 125. In anticipation. Uh, should the ride continue to function properly, I think we're gonna make it. Um, let's hope, fingers crossed. So, in case you weren't aware, even if a ride has like a 60 minute wait, if you get in line five minutes before park close, they will still allow you in line, as long as you're there before the park closing time, which tonight is seven, you're good to go. So I think that's my plan for Mickey and Minnie's. I'm gonna head over there at like 6.50, 6.55. Um, but I also don't wanna do anything that takes forever in the meantime in case we get called for rise. So I think after I finish my cake, I am probably gonna head back over to Toy Story Mania because I just love that ride. We'll jump on there again and see if our boarding, boarding pass is called um, because then we're right near Galaxy's Edge anyway. So that'll work. That's a good plan. Alright, so we did Toy Story Mania again. It's now 6.52. Uh, looks like Rise stopped uh, adding boarding groups after 1.20. So I guess they would have to finish out all those people in those boarding groups. Uh, now they're just no longer adding any more after 120. So we're not doing rides today. That's fine. We've done this before. Um, I think a lesson to learn from this though is that if rise is your main goal at this park, then you should definitely come before opening and shoot for that 10 a.m. time where they give out the first set of boarding rooms. That's definitely the way to go. Uh, that's how I have done it all the times before this. So I definitely recommend doing that if that's your goal here. Um, but we had fun otherwise. Uh, hopefully I can get onto this ride now before I leave here. Um, and yeah, we'll see how long this takes. Okay, it is now 7-11 and I just got a notification that my boarding group is being called for rise. Oh, and there's my mother calling me. Um, I need to figure out what to do. I need to get there by 7.40, but I don't know how long I have left in this line. If it's smart to stay on and get this done and then run to rise, or just skip this one now. Ooh, decisions. All right, decision made. We spent about 20 minutes in that Mickey and Minnie's line, but I only have about 25 minutes to get to Rise of the Resistance and get on the ride, so that's more important. Last time I was here, I rode Mickey and Minnie's two times. Uh, it's always gonna be there next time. I like Rise better. So, on to Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> Good. Should we be inside crap? 
is no longer safe. We had transport waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I'll be with you there. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the general.
Matrix. And then I will destroy you and the resistance. Was that a fun day? Um, I had a lot of fun sharing my day with you today. So thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to us our, on our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram at the Pundiful World of Disney. Join our Facebook group, uh, the Pundiful World of Disney. We have lots of Disney discussions from parks to movies, shows, all things Disney. Uh, so be sure to join in on the fun. And I'll be back to you with some other fun stuff from the parks uh, real soon. Have a good night, y'all. <laughs>